YouTubers, I'm going to make this quick and simple. Basically, I went into Spirit. I looked online at some gentleman who would talk. Um, his friend would give him, a, give him an envelope, and it would have, like, a secret scene or event from history in it without him knowing. And he'd pick up the vibes from the photo that's inside the envelope. And what was amazing that he had a lot of words and things that came to him through the spirit. And he jotted them down. It took like an hour or two. And with all the detailed words, he concluded that it turned out he was um, picking up off JFK's Kennedy's murder. Well, I decided to try this because, you know, I wanted to see if it was for real. And I'm not in no way knowing I'm a psychic or anything, but they say everyone has psychic issues, so I figured I'd try it. But I did it, um, I did cheat a little bit. I did want to pick my celebrity to talk about so that it wouldn't be a mystery to me. Um, I mean, we all have a little knowledge on certain people that we may like, but I am no, um, secret explorer of the stars. You know, I'm not, like, a historian, so... Basically, I wrote Marilyn Monroe was my subject, and I just asked questions in the spirit instead of prayer. I didn't want to bring any negativity. I'm not into Ouija boards. I'm not into any kind of crafty things. I just wanted to be a truth seeker and find out the truth in God's name. And so I called upon Marilyn, and I wrote down words that would just pop into my head. And I have quite a few, so I'd like to share what the meanings of these words that I picked up through the spirit of Marilyn and Rapture. Okay, so um, I'm just in the process of writing them and going through them, and I'm getting the information online to verify them. And so far, they've come out 100%. So I'd like to begin. It's going to have to be two or three part video on this because they have a lot of information I'm still working on. So I'm going to start with this video today. Okay, so the first word that I got was Hume, H-U-L-M-E-S, and it was my feeling that it was a name. Okay, and when I did, I did all the words first and looked them up lastly after I felt I was done speaking with Marilyn. I found that Hume's on the internet connected to Marilyn was a... Idolize, a woman who idolized Marilyn Monroe, a woman I've never heard of, she took a fatal overdose along with her mother, she was a teenager, with her mother, who idolized Marilyn Monroe, and she apparently had a tribute to her star by um, having a suicide. So her and her mother killed themselves because they idolized Marilyn. They did it for Marilyn, and it's been in the newspaper uh, years ago about this occurrence, which I've never heard of, so that was one. The second thing I got off Zoom through Marilyn, um, there were seven people on Facebook who all speak and have pictures of Marilyn Monroe. I mean, how wild is that? So, that's what I got under Zoom. The next word was Zimmerman that came into my head. And I looked online, and Zimmerman um, was mis under mysterious circumstances was a film actress who was, in 1954, a friend of Marilyn Monroe, who was found in an apparent suicide in her apartment. And I believe it was in New York. But there's a whole article on that. And she's a famous actress. I didn't write her first name down, but you will find it under Zimmerman. I'm sure all you that do do historical things in Maryland may already know this. Amazing. Everything that I wrote down without knowing is affiliated with Maryland. What is the odds of that? Okay. And also, there's a Mark Zimmerman was a professional photographer who took celebrity photos, including Marilyn Monroe. Maddie Zimmerman, too, was a photographer, and he was known for his famous subway photo of Marilyn with her dress blowing up in the movie The Seven Year Inch. And he's still making money today. 
amazing. The next word is Snyder came to me. Snyder, I found after researching it, made Marilyn Monroe's dresses and did her makeup and was a very close friend of Marilyn Monroe. Amazing. I had no idea. Honest to God, I did not know any of it. The next word Marilyn I wrote down was knowledge. And it said that in 1961 and 62, President JFK Kennedy expressed to see alien bodies associated with a crash. And Marilyn was supposedly murdered because of her knowledge of this. And I will have more videos because amazingly there is a gentleman who was the first Secretary of Defense who was connected to JFK, who which in return was connected to Marilyn who all died suspiciously, JFK, Marilyn, and the head of Secretary of Defense, who was known to have been witnessed and documented this first crash. They are all linked together because I reportedly got his name, which I'll tell you later, um, through the spirit, through, um, I believe it was Marilyn's spirit that led me to the Secretary of Defense, which we'll get into that later. I am dumbfounded on what I'm finding out through the spirit of Marilyn Monroe. It's crazy. Okay, so we'll continue on. I'll get into that later. His last name was Forrester. I've never knew anything about military and defense and people's names. This is all through the spirit of Marilyn. The next one was Morris came to me when I spoke to Marilyn. Morris Townsend. Who's that? So after doing my research, after getting these, it turned out to be a film actor who played with Marilyn Monroe on her last film. And the film name in 1949, it was a role in the movie The Heiress. And he also played a character. Morris Townsend was his actor's name as a character in the movie. The actor's real name, which this name came up too, I didn't write it down yet, was Cliff Montgomery, the misfit. Does that ring a bell? I don't know. That's what I got through Marilyn. I got the word Cliff, and that read me. Read me to gave me information to find out that Cliff Montgomery again came up. And when I asked about her disappearing death and who her enemies were, Cliff Montgomery was one of them. And Morris Townsend, which I have no idea, was his reverse name that he acted in the movie with her 1940 film, 49 film, The Iris. So, I mean, how how wild is that? Morris Townsend is Cliff Montgomery. And um, they had a big dispute before she died. They did not like one another. Amazing. I never knew that. So again, Montgomery, um, on its own, um, it turned up that there was an actress and... Um, she played a role as being Marilyn Monroe, and her name was Poppy Montgomery. So, Montgomery is in the word. I didn't come up with Poppy, but Montgomery came up with Cliff Montgomery as well as Poppy Montgomery. And uh, she is an Australian film actress. She was 25 years old when she got the leading role for Marilyn. But as you can see, all these words are connected in some way through Marilyn. Amazing. And this is all through the spirit. Did not do any research on this at all. Actually, I'm learning more than I ever knew with speaking with Marilyn through the spirit. So this is amazing. The next word was Perry. Perry came up on the internet. Marilyn, Katy Perry, also did a video and replicated Marilyn Monroe in her video and song and wrote a pop song, which I was not aware of. How amazing is that? Just for coming up with the name Harry. Okay, I got the word Bill. And after looking through the internet, connected to Marilyn, was Bill Clinton. And 
I know that they weren't together at that time. She passed away, but my uh, what I found was Bill Clinton and Lady Gaga, he had a 65th anniversary birthday, I mean birthday, excuse me, and Lady Gaga was dressed as Marilyn Monroe to give him a gift of dancing and performing as Marilyn Monroe. I mean, come on, people. To have all these words connect to Marilyn is amazing. Okay, the next word was fortress. I got from her fortress. I'm like, well, I know she has a lot of power and a lot of assets. Maybe it means that. Well, later I found out that her fortress was for photograph collections, and her fortress with the photography and all the money people are making on her marketing after she died. And it was her fortress, and there are people involved with um, going to court and filing to get parts of her fortress. And that's what I wanted to know. Like, there had to be someone that gained something from Marilyn's death. And the name came up Green. And I didn't know this, but Green is called Milton Green. He was the production manager of the movie, which when she left to go sing to the Kennedys on Washington, they had a big dispute with her. MGM, I think Studio was the name, and had a big lawsuit. Well, Green turned out to be Milton Green, and um, it, 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 he ended up getting 75% of Marilyn's assets after she died, which had a lot to do with her taxes. And he was co-owner of Marilyn Productions. And he said she had that company in her own name. And it turned out that he was partners and ended up manoogling 75% of her assets after she died in a private closed circuit court. He states that Marilyn had lived in New York. Her residence was a New York resident and not a California resident when she died in in California. California stated that that was a temporary place of her residing. She only rented the place. Her home to her was New York and she planned on going back. back. Patricia Newcomb, which is Kennedy's relative, who stayed and visited with Marilyn in California and was there upon her death, who suddenly disappeared when the government, or CIA, or whoever killed her, took off because she was a witness and took a long vacation. Well, she got 25% of the assets because she did claim, as well as Green, that Marilyn sold for tax reasons to Manoogle without having to pay California tax because they were responsible for her assets in her will. He got 75%, and Pat Newcomb got 25%. And Amy Strasberg, which is the granddaughter of Lee Strasberg's wife, they had a child. She ended up with the inheritance um, after her parents died, which, you know, the actor's studio were close friends to Marilyn and who had knowledge of her assets. So those were the three that benefited. I never knew that. I'm sure you don't. If you don't believe me, I can pull up the court case. I have it on my computer, which I will probably make a film of that so you can read it yourself. Amazing. I never knew this. Also, under the name Green was the famous photographer. He took many, and I, I, oh no, this is the same person. I'm sorry. And he owned half of Maryland. Productions. I just took brief notes, but you can go online and research it yourself under Green. His first name is Morton. Milton, I'm sorry, because Milton was also the next name I'm going to disclose that Marilyn gave me, who I had no idea who Milton was. Milton had 75% of Marilyn's estate after winning a tax suit and in the past, and so did Pat Newcomb and Anna Freud, F-R-E-U-D, which that was a name that came up that I had no idea. She was an elite um, 
woman who owned her own magazine and was a publisher. We'll get to that. Okay, so that's it. Milton and Green. They were not from Maryland. They robbed her boy. Trust me. She told me. It's right here. Ben Fleur, F-L-E-U-R, here we go, a 1953 Look magazine, was the editor, Fleur Cowell, C-O-W-L-E-S. She was an elite socialist, was also known in England. She had met the Queen of England, which so did Marilyn. She was a friend of Marilyn's, and she also knew uh, uh, Milton Green. And um, she died in her late 90s, but it says here that she also edited the magazine Flair, F-L-A-I-R. And she was close to the monarchs, like the Pope in Maryland, and had very close political powers. And um, so did Milton Green. Um, there are some um, kind of links that goes along the monarchy in England related to Maryland. So, let's connect the dots here. This is, this is getting interesting. The elite, Illuminati, uh, Hollywood, England, okay, is that starting to make you a little bit more aware of what Maryland's trying to say? It surely is for me, and there's so much more. So, I'm going to do a couple more, and then you'll have to see my next video because of the time is getting close here. Okay, when I asked who killed Marilyn Monroe, I got the name G-U-E-R-E, -E, Guire. And I had no idea where I got this name from. It just popped in my head. Well, when I looked it up online, it's the meaning of war. It's the French phrase meaning war. Okay. And it's more commonly known for the name Marilyn. Like in Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Monroe, how, how crazy is that? And also, in Wikipedia, for G-U-E-R-E, -E, it's a name used as a pseudonym. It's referred to as pseudonym. So I looked up pseudonym. In the Wikipedia, it's a personal group or person who, in particular purpose, which differs from the original name, to hide one's real identity. And this is when I asked who killed you. She gave the name Boyer, which means Marilyn. She's referring to herself. But when when it comes to the name, the, the, the name is hidden. The identity and the person's name who killed her name has been changed. So if she was to tell you the name, it wouldn't come up the real name because they had changed your identity. That's what I'm getting. Um, also, it's used by religious groups that want to hide things, politics, and government. Unbelievable. So, there's some hidden things here. And that's it for today. I'm going to go on and finish up this with the rest of the words that I found. There's many more. It's so interesting, and I'm going to make my little trail and follow it and see where it leads me. Thanks to Marilyn and Spirit, maybe we can actually get some truth once and for all. So stay tuned. Um, I'll keep writing. If I pick up more, I have more. Follow video number two, The Spirit of Marilyn. I read that blog. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon. We'll hear some more that Marilyn has to say. Thank you. Bye, YouTubers. Go to video two, The Spirit of Maryland.